Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about implicit differentiation. And for each problem, we're using implicit differentiation to find dy dx in terms of x and y. So, if I was given this problem, x squared is equal to, parentheses, 4, x squared, y to the third power, plus 1 squared. Okay, so from there, you can derive this, left-hand side is easy, just 2x. Right hand side, power will come down, we're going to apply the chain rule, keep the inside the same. 4x squared, y to the third, plus 1, x to the same. Times down the derivative of the inside. Okay? Derivative of the inside, I'm going to kind of pull that 4 out coefficient here, and then we have kind of a, um, a, a product, I'm just going to put a blank there, 2x times y to the third, plus, keep the front part the same, x squared, right from there I pulled up 4 times 3y squared dy dx. And the derivative of 1, which is 0. So we're good there. So what I'm going to do is, let's go distribute down to 2 uh, to both parts here, and the same thing for this 4. Let's go distribute that out. So we have 2x over here is equal to, okay, multiplying that out, I have 8x squared y to the third plus 2. Use that parentheses though, all that together. Times this one here, distribute the 4 across. 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 8xy to the third, plus 4 times uh, 3 is 12, 12x squared y squared dy dx. Okay? So I'm going to divide both sides by this. Okay, divide both sides by 8x squared y to the third plus 2, leaving me with 2x over 8x squared y to the third plus 2 equals all of this. 8xy to the third plus 12x squared y squared dy dx. Okay. I now can subtract this 8xy uh, to the third to both sides, giving me this here by itself. And I'm going to, uh, when I do that subtraction, I'm going to rearrange it, giving me, I'm going to put this 12x squared y dy dx by itself first out front. So I'm flipping around 12x squared y squared dy dx is equal to 2x over 8x squared y to the third plus 2, okay, minus that 8xy to the third. I hope I can fit this in here. So, I now just want to divide this 12xy squared to both sides, uh, both parts, okay, leaving me dy dx by itself. So, let's kind of fit this in right here. dy dx is equal to, well, 2x stays up top, over, okay, multiplying this 12, or dividing 12 on both sides goes in this denominator, okay. Oh, and 12 times 8, I don't know the top of my head, I probably should, my calculator says it's just my phone. Uh, 12 times 8, keeps a coefficient out front here, okay, actually let's just do it like this, make it easier, uh, not, not distribute that across, okay. So we have well, 12 x squared y squared times what's left in the denominator, 8x squared y to the third plus 2, okay? And then if I could fit that, minus, all right, so this kind of comes down here, don't forget the, it's going to come over here, kind of connect it all, or kind of all put together, but there's a minus sign here, minus, and then kind of got in the way, it's going to be like a real estate here. I have the 8xy to the third over my denominator, which was that 12x squared y squared. And there we have it. Oh, final answer was kind of two parts. Hopefully you can follow that and see that there. And you could distribute that, and I was going to, but then I was like, well, I might get a little enough off the point I would have. So it's going to run out of room, so I went with it as it is. So let's recap. We're doing x squared equals parentheses 4x squared y to the third plus 1 to the second power. Left side was easy, gave 2x. Right hand side, power rule and a chain rule, all of that. Then, what I had to do is I, I distributed the 4 and the 2 to each corresponding parts there and simplified it. Then I divided both sides by 8x squared, y to the third plus 2. Then I subtracted, okay, and 8xy to the third both sides, but also flipped it. So I had 12xy, x squared, y squared, dy dx here, and it equals that 2 over 8x squared, y to the third plus 2, minus 8xy to the third. Then I divided by this 12x squared, y squared to both sides, giving me dy dx. 
which comes all over here, okay? And hopefully you can see it put together, but our final answer is dy dx equals 2x over 12x squared y squared times 8x squared y to the third plus 2 minus 8x y to the third over 12x squared y squared. Now you probably can simplify this a little bit more, but uh, you definitely can actually, but it's okay. Um, we're good. I'm happy with how it is. We're fine. So that is 